Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, hailing from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio, or United States of Antennas, here to discuss for just a second, well, maybe a few seconds. The effect of increasing antenna element diameter on the bandwidth of an antenna. And I'm referring in particular to a dipole antenna, a horizontal open dipole, or for that matter, a vertical dipole, or a slanted dipole. In general, for a given resonant frequency, or for a given frequency range, say the seven megahertz band. As you increase the diameter of the antenna radiating element, you also increase the bandwidth. Now I have, I have um, discussed that uh, you also lower the resonant frequency somewhat, but it takes quite a significant increase in the diameter of the element to make much of a difference in the bandwidth increase. For example, if you have a 40 meter dipole resonant at 7.035 megahertz, and it uses number AWG number 12 stranded bare copper wire, and you increase that to AWG number, say, 10 stranded bare copper wire, you're not going to see a significant increase in the bandwidth, nor a significant lowering of the resonant frequency. But if you make a cage sort of arrangement, uh, several elements strung in a sort of a, a circular pipe type arrangement, a foot in diameter, a half a meter in diameter, say, and uh, separated by insulators and you make that the same length as you made the original dipole antenna, you're going to find that number one, the resonant frequency is somewhat lower and number two, the bandwidth is somewhat greater. That is the distance uh, frequency wise in kilohertz between the two to one SWR points. That's a, a typical figure given for practical bandwidth in an antenna uh, at a frequency like 7 megahertz. Or if you have a, a 2 meter uh, 144 megahertz vertical antenna and you make it out of 1 quarter inch diameter aluminum tubing and then you increase the diameter of that tubing to say 3 inches so it's more like a pipe you're going to find a significant increase in the bandwidth and a fairly significant lowering of the resonant frequency because the ratio of the diameter to the length has been increased by a much greater factor. In fact, uh, generally speaking, it's the ratio of the diameter of an element to its length that de uh, determines the bandwidth and the extent to which the resonant frequency is lowered as opposed to the actual diameter of the element itself. So if you use a 3 inch pipe at 80 meters, 3 point, say 3.535 megahertz as opposed to a AWG number 12 wire, you will find very little increase in bandwidth, but if you do that with a 144 megahertz vertical, uh, which is only about a half a meter high to begin with, and you increase that to a pipe three inches, uh, or how, how, how much, how many centimeters is that? You do the math. Uh, two point, it's by about seven and a half centimeters. You're going to find a significant increase in the bandwidth of the antenna because the ratio 
of the diameter to the length is much greater in the case of the 2 meter antenna as opposed to the 40 meter antenna. Am I making any sense? <laughs> I hope not. After all, it's been raining long enough uh, off and on and preventing me from painting my house. No, just intermittent rains. We're still, I, I found out we're still in a drought condition, but we get these thunderstorms every bloody night. Now go figure, how does that work? Sort of like in Phoenix, where they have these violent monsoons and yet they're a desert, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's aggravating. So I resort to doing things like making videos about uh, diameter to length ratio for radiating elements in antennas and the effect of that ratio on the resonant frequency and the effect of that ratio on the bandwidth of the antenna. So again in general increasing the um, if you increase the diameter to length ratio uh, you will find that you get a greater bandwidth uh, as you continue to increase that. And the ultimate endpoint of an antenna like that is something uh, akin to what they call a conical monopole uh, or a biconical antenna. But those are topics for other videos on other rainy days in a drought zone. So I was right about the drought. I was just wrong about the rain or something, I, I, whatever. Uh, Stangibalisco W1 GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations saying 73, which means best regards and so long, which regardless of the diameter to length ratio of the antenna element means da 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 da. -da.